Hi FFB friends. Today for Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Day, we're going to learn about tomatoes. But mm. my name is Casey Hayes and I'm the dietitian for SFE and District 60. And this is Jen, my quadrant manager. Hi Jen. Hi Casey. Hi friends. So today we're learning about tomatoes. Most of you have probably seen a tomato that looks like this. This is called a Roma tomato. It's tall like an egg. It is. And then there are other tomatoes that are round and look like this. But we found a really weird looking tomato today, didn't we? We did. It's called an heirloom tomato. Look at all those bumps. It's got a lot of wrinkles. Yeah, it does. But the bottom half has a crack in it. Has a crack. All of us have a crack. <laughs> there are other kinds of tomatoes too. There are little tiny, these are called pear and cherry tomatoes. And they're all different colors. They are all different colors. Green and red and yellow. Kind of like harvest colors. Mmm, they look good. They make salads look really pretty. All right, so let's use our five senses, friends. First, we want to see what they look like. And I'm going to explain to you. They grow on a vine. See how this is a vine? The vines get really tall. The one at my house, when I grow it, it grows like 10 feet tall. Wow. And the tomatoes get really, really heavy. So you have to prop them up with strings and little clips and stuff. Some people just grow them in little planters on their back porch. Mm -hmm. They can grow the little tiny tomatoes. But they grow on a vine. Do you know what that tells us that they are growing on a vine? What does it tell us? It tells us that they are a fruit, not a vegetable. Oh. Remember, they're cousins to bell peppers and zucchinis because they have seeds on the inside. Just like that. See all the little seeds inside? Makes them a fruit. So hard. We've always known them as vegetables. I know. We eat them in salads, so people like to call them a vegetable. But they are a fruit. Um, so if we look at them, here you go, Jen, you can have half. If we look at them, they're all waxy on the outside. We've known a lot of different fruits and veggies that are waxy on the outside and smooth. Yes. It helps keep the bugs out of it. It's a defense mechanism. Then on the inside, look how juicy they are with the seeds. Looks delicious, doesn't it? It does. Um, what does it smell like? Hmm. Like a tomato. It does. Kind of like I pizza don't... sauce. Yes, or spaghetti sauce. Mm-hmm. They smell good. Yeah. And they're really juicy. You can see it just by squeezing. Let's it a see bit. how they taste. They're squishy. Mmm. Mine's a little squishy, but it's really good. It is juicy and squishy. Has a little bit of crunch where the fleshy part is, and then it's squishy like where the seeds are. Yes. What did it sound like when we ate it? Like it's juicy. It's you kind of have juicy. to slurp. And there's a little bit of a crunch at the very end. Not there a big is. crunch like the bell peppers, but a little one. Some people don't like to eat tomatoes because they're squishy. I like them. They're very good. So we saw it, we smelled it, we tasted it, we listened to it, and we feel it. It's like firm on the outside mm -hmm. and squishy on the inside. Yep. So why should we eat these, Jen? I know they're really good for us. They've got a lot of those big words in there for us. They do. Do you remember what one of the big words is? Like antioxidants. Oxidants. Yes, they have different names, but we're just going to call them all antioxidants because that one's the easiest one to remember. Remember, antioxidants are tied to the colors. So the colors on this one is red. That's probably going to have some beta carotene in it and some lutein and yellow. And remember, the colors are also tied to help the, how those antioxidants help us. Do you remember what red antioxidants help with? That goes for your heart. It does. Helps your heart and helps your blood. And yellow and orange help our eyes. There's some other ones in here that are a little bit green. 
Remember we learned about green with bell peppers. That's got a little bit of lutein in it. You can eat green tomatoes also. You can. I Fried could... green tomatoes are really good. Are they? They are. Also, tomatoes have vitamin C, which we learned about also with um, bell peppers. Mm -hmm. That vitamin C, remember, is, is more than an orange. Yes. And tomatoes also have the vitamin C, so they help you stay healthy from getting colds and flus in the winter. They also have folate, which is a B vitamin. They have vitamin K, which helps our bones and our muscles, and it helps our blood clot when we get owies. Um, they, as we already looked at, they come in lots of sizes and shapes from really small, again, really small, to, to really, really big. big. So we just buy the kind of tomato that we need. How do you like to eat tomatoes? I love tomatoes all different ways. I like to just wedge them up and eat them with a little salt and pepper. I like them on salads. I even like the sun-dried tomatoes. Ooh, sun-dried mm, tomatoes. Those are good. Like in sandwiches and sauces. Yes. I was trying to think today, how do we eat tomatoes here at school? I remembered pizza sauce. Mm-hmm. How else have you seen them? The spaghetti sauce on our spaghetti. Yes, and in the beefy mac. In the beefy mac? Yeah, and on our garden bars. Sometimes we cut them up and put them on garden bars. It also helps us with digestion. So if you eat those tomato products, then it helps your tummy digest all of your food. Do you think our friends are going to eat the tomatoes today for FFV? I hope you all try it. Smell it, feel it. Taste it. If you don't like it, just keep trying it because it takes your mouth 10 times before you get to like it. Yes, it does. Hope you enjoy your tomatoes today for FFE.